Alright, so some of you people out there have been having problems with their Oblivion mods. Uh, all various problems, either it doesn't... They select it here, but it doesn't run, or something like that. Um, it doesn't, they can't find their item. Although I posted a few comments to show, to trying to tell people how to do it, they didn't really understand what I meant. So I'm going to do this little video tutorial to show you what I mean. Okay, first solution: get Oblivion Mod Manager. Can be downloaded. Um, Test Nexus. Uh, top 100 or something you'll probably find testnexus.com um, go to testnexus.com click top 100 I believe I'm on manager and uh, files and here you can download the blue mod manager here are for example here's what it looks, it looks like here are all my active mods, as you can see, and uh, well, uh, what you what you were gonna do after downloading it? Uh, well, I can tell you what uh, what uh, this will see if you have any conflicting mods. You may, uh, what I mean is, um, this, your mod might conflict with uh, all uh, all others, or well, any mod actually. Most probably will because you didn't load all mods when you made made this mod. Well, anyway, uh, click utilities, and here you have old conflict detector, new conflict detector, blah 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 blah. So well, click new conflict detector, read edits as well. You can click all if you want to. So anyway, um, test active mods. Here are all mods, and now all the red ones they actually conflict with other mods. And if you click the plus sign. You can see what it is in here. It conflicts with our original Oblivion AESM and Grow Race. And when we have Ruin Rangoon Pack, uh, or overrides, overrides, and anyway. Um, it's going to show overrides as well, <coughs> although you might not want to see those. Anyway, uh, then just find your mode to see if they conflict with any, any other. like wildly hideouts my mod. Chest cutter upper, overrides oblivion, conflicts with of course oblivion overhaul. Uh, yes, so overhaul as well. Well I know what the old conflict detector does. Well it's a bit a little bit more complicated. And that's well, well that was one solution. Uh, another solution is you can uh, did I tell you? Uh, <laughs> change the, yes, change the change the location or the load or, or order. Well, the load uh, here's um, load or order. As you can see, change it so there like that. And if you want to change change the load order, just move them around. If you put that there, it's going to load that one. So make sure your mod is load last. I think it is. I'm not sure. Try moving it around a little bit and see if you can find it anywhere. Uh, okay. What more, what more? Oblivion script extender. You guys didn't really understand what I meant with that, so I'm going to show you what I mean. Oops, I see. Um, oops, uh, dot silverlock dot com. Hello, dot com. Org. What the fuck? There we Fuck you. Too. Oops, uh, dot silverlock.com go to obsolescentsilverlock.com and don't write random gibberish like I just did and you're going to end up on strange silver oh, fuck you. ah Jesus Christ obsolescentsilverlock.com uh, again there we go and here download the, the latest version version Click here, download, and it's going to open. And you just click save and put it anywhere, you know, somewhere. And uh, now let's see if I can find the file here. Na, 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 na. Downloads. And it's probably under zip. Oblivion. 
and here is Obsidian, and then you extract it and open it, open it again, and here sources, and uh, it's going to tell you what you need to copy in there. Uh, just open the README uh, command. Get the fuck off there. Uh, there. And open it. I have a little laggy computer right now, so please don't get mad at me. And here's installation, installation, or whatever. And just copy all the files and names. I think it's just those. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that one too. I don't know. Anyway, and that one as well. Uh, I think. <laughs> Into your Oblivion data. No, not Oblivion data. Into Bethesda. Oblivion. Here, you uh, copy it in here, and then you, when you want to run Oblivion, you double click here on the obsidian loader. You can and make um, shortcuts to obsidian loader. Sadly, but uh, anyway, yeah, um, that's one solution. And then the easiest solution, no, wrong. The very easiest solution of all is just to either remake the mod completely, or you put the sword or whatever in a different location. That might help as well. Yeah, or you can try some to other mods because uh, they might might overrun your mod. A little bit annoying sometimes, but that's life. Woo! Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Be right back. <laughs> it's finished loading. Well, let's say I want to place a sword. On the first place, I place a sword right here. Um, forward, uh, weapons, weapons, Ebony Blade. Okay, I want to put an Ebony Blade right here. There we go. Uh, and I, like, I save the file then, try to load it again, and uh, when I get, when I try to load, it, it isn't there. Oh no, what could have, ha could have happened? Well, one thing that could have happened is this guy might have picked it up because you didn't the ownership go to um so we can find it player okay and then try to save again it still isn't there then I don't know um someone conflicts or overrides it so what you're gonna do is find a location that is not really related at any way to the mode. Or what you can do actually. Can I add that one? Add a base. Oh yes, eh, look here. Look here. Now okay. You double click this one, click edit base. Then you change that its ID. ID uh, ID something something. Then just drag this to the container and try that as well. And then it should be there and click save. Don't forget to save. Some of you might might have forgotten to save. Which isn't very good, I suggest. I think. 